welcome to another day of art. As you can see, I'm in our art classroom. There's my desk, it's a bit unorganized. And your chairs aren't down yet, but I'm gonna be taking those down because I can't wait to have you guys in class soon. Today we're gonna be doing another origami together, but we are going to be doing a dinosaur. So the dinosaur is a lot more work than the boat. So be patient, take your time, and if I go too fast, fast in the video, just pause and rewatch. When you are all done, um, please feel free to either email me a picture of it or take a picture of it and upload it to the Google Classroom. I can't wait to see your dinosaurs and feel free to color them if you want to, but it's not a requirement. All right, students, so we're gonna be keep making this cute little origami dinosaur. It takes a, quite a few steps, so really follow along. If you need to pause my video to go back to a step or to really get one step down, please feel free to do so. So let's get started. So go ahead and just take a regular sheet of paper. If you already have a square paper, that's great. If not, just go ahead and join me by folding. So similar to how we did our boat last week, we're gonna take one corner Fold it on up so that this side lines up with that side. And you want it lined up pretty well so you get a really nice square. Go ahead and crease that on down. Really crease those edges. And then we wanna, if you have scissors, feel free to go ahead and cut that edge off. If you don't have scissors, you can just do what I do and that's just fold this on up. So you're folding this where this line is, where this sheet of paper is. So I like to do it this way just so I can actually see where that side of the paper is. Really crease it down good. You want a nice crease because remember we're ripping this part off. Go ahead and fold it over. We're Again, we're just doing multiple folds each direction because the more creased it is, the easier it is to rip. All right, go ahead and rip that piece off. And you can either recycle this, or I like to recycle it by making drawings on this and using it as a bookmark, so that's an option as well. Go ahead and open it. From here, you're gonna fold this point to that point. Go ahead and fold there, and then really crease it on down. We're gonna be doing a lot of folds that just matter for creases. Um, so you've got both folds coming in this way. So see how it's kind of folding in towards you or up? Go ahead and flip that on over so it looks a little bit like a tent right now. Now from this side, you're going to fold it the other direction. So lining up this side to that side. So we're no longer folding it diagonally. Um, we're folding it vertically or horizontally. It's a square, so it could be either one. All right, so opening it on up now. So you should have folded it both directions, and then you should have folded it diagonally both directions as well. Now flip it back over so it's a little bit like a tent. From here, students, do you see how these diagonal lines kind of fold in? That's actually gonna be really helpful for us because you're gonna to wanna to take this tip to this tip, so folding them in. It's okay, let them bend in. So let each of these sides bend inward. So it kind of looks like that. I just wanna show you so you can really see folding it inwards you're then going to flatten it together and crease it on down. I'm gonna show you that step one more time. If you already got it, awesome. If not, so we're right here. We're right here with our paper like this. As we kind of push it on up for a little bit of a tent, take opposite sides, opposite sides together and let this fold inwards. Let the center part of that side fold inwards. So again, letting it fold. And then as it folds inwards, y'all, seeing how the angle changes, that makes these two sides look like this, and then you flatten those two sides together. 
Great job. Keep going, students. Now, see how there's two si sides here, y'all? There's you When you flip this, it should be like this. So just take one of these, just take one of these, and fold it in like that. So taking this edge, just folding the bottom part of that edge right like that. So again, taking this corner, folding that corner into the center with this whole bottom portion, not the top portion and not just halfway, but the whole bottom portion here, lining it up to the center line here, okay? To that center fold. We're gonna take the other side, again, not both sides here, just one of them, and we're gonna do the same thing. So as we fold, this line is gonna line up with the center fold. So really watch, y'all. And see how I'm kind of maneuvering it, like I kind of have to round the paper. It's a really interesting technique, uh, making sculpture out of paper, which is what origami is. And so just know it may not be exactly a flat fold right away. You may have to round it to fold it and manipulate the paper how you want it to um, lay down flat, okay? So it looks like a kite on this side, right? Flip it on over. We're gonna do the exact same thing now with this side. So taking this edge, folding it inwards, taking this edge and folding it inwards, So now it should look like you kind of have a two-sided kite. When you let go of it, it looks like that. So keeping it flat, keeping it flat with our kite, we're gonna take the top of our kite and see where these fold in and kind of make a line. Where these two lines fold in and make a line, we wanna fold this down. So fold it down and we're just folding it down to make a crease, okay? So folding it down to make a crease lifting it back up, turn it around and fold it the other direction to make a crease. The, this crease will help us with the next step, okay? And then open it back up. Okay, so we've got our kite. Go ahead and lay your kite down with one of the sides facing up. Start to unfold it like this. You're now gonna lift this bottom portion, okay? You're gonna lift this bottom portion up and you're gonna stop it. See how this crease stops for us and we want that, okay? So you're gonna lift it on open. See how mine's opening up? It almost looks like a bird beak. As it's opening up, these creases and these folds, you wanna fold down towards the middle. So as I'm opening it up, it kinda looks like a boat right now, but I don't want it to stay like a boat. And so I'm going to flatten both sides down on their crease. And again, please feel free to pause or rewatch these steps because I really want you guys to get this and it'll just be fun to have an origami dinosaur, right? Okay, so now flip it on over. This is what this side looks like now. So it was our kite. Now we've got this side flipped up. So open this side up. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So again, we're stopping at that crease. That crease helps us know where to stop when we open it up. So it looks like a beak and kind of press that down. It looks like a boat, but we don't want it to stay in a boat. So again, see these creases in here? That helps us fold inwards to make this side flat. Awesome. Okay. Now our next Step, I'm trying to remember how this goes, to be honest. Is, is that right? Yep, okay. So for our next step here, y'all. All right, y'all, so both sides should basically look the same. For our next side, we're just gonna take one of them. It doesn't really matter which side at this point, just choose one. So not the side that has the little legs, it almost looks like little chicken legs. You're gonna take the side, just one of the top parts that's like a solid triangle here, and you're going to fold it down. Again, this edge is gonna line up with that fold, so these folds help us know. So fold it down diagonally, make a crease, okay? 
Go ahead and open it back up and you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So you're folding the other side down where this side's gonna line up with the fold. So folding it down diagonally. Making a crease, perfect, awesome. Okay, so now you've got these creases here. This side's nice and flat. We're gonna fold in on the flat side, okay? As we fold in on the flat side, you'll see the creased side will start to pop up, and that's good, we want that, okay? So allow the crease side to come on up. It almost looks like a little flower or something, like a really tropical Amazonian flower. Now, this side's sticking out, and we actually don't want that side to stick out, so open this up and fold that down, okay? So it was sticking out, you're opening it up and folding that in, and then you're closing it back up for now, okay? So now we've got this part sticking up. Now it looks like almost galactic, like a little space toy or something. <laughs> for this part, again, we're doing some creases that will help us. We're gonna take this and fold it down. So you're taking that and see how I'm kind of rotating it downwards? So take it and fold it down. Give it a nice crease. Open it back up. Again, this crease just helps us. And then you're gonna fold it on the exact same line, just the other direction. Awesome, so you have that nice diagonal crease here. Now I really want you to pay attention to this next part, okay? You're gonna start to, so here's our view. We're focusing still on this point. See as I rotate it? So I'm rotating this shape. From here, where that crease is, I'm going to flip it over. So see where that crease is there? I'm now flipping this point and folding it on over where that crease is. And again, it takes a little maneuvering and that's okay. There we go. So now we've got it inside out, okay? So again, feel free to take your time. We've got that side inside out. From here, we don't want this to be a bird. We want it to be a dinosaur. So this is a little too pointy for our dinosaur. So for this tip, for this pointed tip here on the beak or the nose, we're gonna just fold it inwards. So folding that part, so again, this part, we're folding it inwards and then folding it in on itself. And there we go, have more of a flat nose that looks a little bit more like a dinosaur. Okay. Next step, we'll do the hands last, but we'll move on to our legs. Go ahead, so as you see with this long part, y'all, there's gonna be three different tabs that you have here, okay? So one, two, three. You're just gonna take the first top one, the first top tab, and see how I'm folding it down, okay? So again, I'm taking this and you're kind of rotating it downwards so that this is facing down, and then you are folding it down. Now this isn't a crease, you actually wanna keep it like that, okay? So that's part of the first leg. Go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing with the other side. So you've got two more tabs. You're leaving the middle tab alone, taking this outside piece of paper or tab and doing the same thing. You're folding it down. So see how I'm bringing this corner downwards and then I'm creasing it. So now you have a very basic dinosaur, but we want to complete some of the details so it really looks more elevated, okay? So we'll make the feet and then we'll fix the hands, all right? So for the feet, go ahead and there's a lot of rolled folds. I call them rolled folds because it looks like it's, you're rolling the paper first. But go ahead and take this point, take this point here and fold it back so it looks like this point is facing that point. Fold it back and then fold it completely. It still doesn't look like a dinosaur because his feet aren't backwards like that, right? So you're gonna take this point and while holding this fold, you are still going to fold this forward. And so you're just folding it a little bit and there you've got a foot. I'll show you on the other side as well. And again, take your time, y'all. 
So again, you're not folding it outwards that way, you're folding it underneath, okay? So we're not gonna see the fold. This one's hidden, we're folding it underneath, backwards. Go ahead and crease it on down, and then taking this tab, holding this fold, and doing one more fold in that direction. So now we've got the legs. You do have to hold the legs, because if you let go, they come unfolded really easily. Um, and so go ahead and just kind of hold them for now. See, even mine, I gotta fold back in. So we've got that, but as you can see with my finished dyno, the hands aren't quite done, are they? Nope, we want it to look like it's kind of got the little um, claws or something, I guess. And so to do that, I gotta keep mine folded in. You're gonna take this point here, this point, and see how there's a middle section? So when you open it up, this triangle, on the hands, there's a little middle section here. You're going to bend this point in, bend this point downwards, and then just kind of let it stick out a little bit as you crease it in on itself. And this one's a little smaller than my original one, but that's okay, as long as it kind of looks like the little claws. Um, we've got a little T-Rex here, and so that helps it look more like the T-Rex it's meant to look like. I'm just trying to, so yeah, there we go. We've got our dinosaurs here. So go ahead and take a picture of these, y'all, and email them to me or upload them to the classroom, and I can't wait to see your dinosaurs. Just do the best you can. Again, please feel free to go back, pause, rewatch until you get it to a point where you're really proud of your dinosaur. All right, you guys, good luck.